TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. But by the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right behind me, you see just a little slight warning screen just in case, man. Don't forget, we do have Patreon as well. We post Monday through Friday. And that's stuff we can't watch on YouTube, obviously, because of, you know. And also, man, Twitch.com. That's where the live streams are. Usernames at the bottom of the screen. All this information is in the description. This is a troubled land. Escape Mount Joy. IRA helicopter escape. Talk to me. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. True. Oh no, I don't want to be on this side. <laughs> We're done with that side. Talk to me. Yes, we know. They done made a song about the helicopter escape? That's negative. This like a diss song to the prison system security. Look, <laughs> they singing it in front of bro. He mad. Look at his arms folded. You gonna diss him and his system in front of him? That's tough. Uh, Brandy. I don't see no subtitles. Oh, there we go. Alright, there are subtitles. Let me make myself smaller here so we can get to reading. Tide a rechach lahi play rock on the salma. We play rock a ele er shul like an ayare. We should gira chur da good ball a chrachamach as close to a bris on wind show. Shin belloch a rela on chur a hinchos guguino for a sha maranchelo is kroga agus is kriste that harledi of is that the tide sha. The um. Kurt Egmoar, Agus Nera Hui and Guard of Prisoner, Higa Lafila Makdur, China, Narusha Kanslam or Hanis Mugur Garhala, Garusha Garagal, Agus Nir Hogshisha, Leskiller, Vitos, and Rushesh Nagola, Gola Lord Lehe, Agus Hanix and Fire Ash and Garda Ash, Agus Turchish and Lamar, Agus Punishir, Ashti, Agus Nir Hixi, Kajavi, and EA. Wait, so your mom got all the way there and the water told her, nah, he ain't trying to see you, he's still mad about the little argument. That's tough. That's real Irish man stuff because that is, you gotta be, you gotta be, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? What's the word I'm looking for where you just don't let stuff go? You gotta, 
Yeah, you got to be a real spiteful motherfucker to your wife had come visit you in jail and you say no because y'all got into an argument. That is tough, sir. Anyways. Uh, there was an escape committee of uh, four or five people, and the whole basis was need to know. But there would have been a couple of veteran Republicans there, and not name any, whose advice you would have sought because they had been in jail in the 40s and 50s and the 60s and now they were back in in the 70s and um, to young Turks like me you know you had to look up for these guys they've been through it all you know a particular individual i don't want to name they might as well leave the subtitles on for everybody uh, arrived in unexpectedly as we all arrived in unexpectedly and uh, i knew from the minute he came in that you know things would move you know and he pulled together a small crowd of uh, four or five people, of which I was one of them. And the whole idea was to look at the idea of escapes everywhere, because prior to that, it wasn't really been addressed uh, properly. And the idea of the, the helicopter escape uh, came up, and I have to admit, I think we, most of us laughed at the idea of it, you know, that this is, this is fantasy land, you know. I almost said, where y'all even find a helicopter? But this is the IRA. They, I feel like they can get anything at this point. In Chateau Hain, I am in Regenus of Maher, and one of the Nogla Hamal Farstent in Tamshin of Chateau Hain. Could you come out of Chateau Dawn or walk to the Balaclia, Louis Fiche, and a camera or a Hogley or Ogly in a hair and a fad? It's a cheer. Uh, when he, while he was on the run, uh, there were certain friends would have come to me and said, Bernadette, come on with me. And I didn't know where I was going until I was brought to a particular house and Joe would have been in it. I might have seen him for an hour or so. And then I wouldn't have seen him maybe for six months again. And internment was brought in again in 71. Well, again, Joe went on the run at that stage. He was known uh, to be the quartermaster in the IRA. It was on the word of a, a superintendent in the guards that the, uh, any of these men were given six months. So he was arrested in May, and uh, it was in October then that the escape happened. For us, I guess we are good to Wait, what? Hold on. August. No, go back. Say it again. He the quartermaster in the IRA. It was on the word of a, a superintendent in the guards that the, uh, any of these men were given six months. So he was arrested in May. They gave, the, wait. They got a six month sentence? Is that what she's saying? They were arrested in May and, the, and, it, and it took place in October. That is five months. You have one month left. Why would you? Okay. I'm not going to say why would you even do it because it's the IRA. They was making a statement. Okay. Hey, and uh, it was in October then that the escape happened. For us, I had a chance. 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 I had so we just can to ask Shen Agus Balrath faster. So Garu could be in a prison tank there. Agus, we three hackers and could be in a Shen Chanta near near a jail issue. The doors are over in the Blian and Nijak Shahto tree. We chose just the third Bahavach is in the Shalady for your glass. A gander, Seamus Toomey, Kevin Mallon, Agus J.B. O'Hagan. Vishay Sinair, Goreshe Fui, Winter, Sinn Fein, August and IRA, on Stoch or Achora Wah, August Stoch, Illa Illa and Achora Bon, August Vida a plague at Amshin, Le Leshan Sweet of Gorgor Gorstoch, Sochiloch, Vader Komenoch, Illa Illa and Vecha Gestico, Chonic on Rietas Shin, Gorobagert, 
Nora Vugay in the public tonic, Agus Isar and Mountain, a herd or Honibra, a Hun Shreen a herd of. He just grabbed guys and said, You're a member of the IRA. We refused to recognize the court at the time, and he automatically got 12 months. So it was a hidden form of internment. In a period of about six weeks, they arrested about at least a dozen of what people would call senior figures in the IRA. And uh, the Irish government were pretty cock a hoop over that, and of course, we had to put our minds to bring them back down to earth again, you know. The far away and TV and we, far at a Gomor, a Mela Fubble Gafoil, I guess, um, we said to Gorka Scannon, I guess, on television, Honig Shay, and Rudshaw, I ran Hollywood and Scannon Shaw in Hollywood, Gur Ely, Gur Ely Dini O'Frisson. In England, no helicopter. I guess. So they got the ideal out of a movie, or they got the the structure of the idea out of a movie. Just the condition of the interview, and condition of the interview, and a mask, parts not sure. Ella, I guess they should get hills like a magic mill and chance aku. Når det vel med det kan også være en Mr. Leonard i stedet for meffig Irish helikopters, la helikopter og hogge eller kis, når vi en hus inte til det gjør. Da er det en strandkjørelse helikopter, la hei grønn graffet og rett eiene hos kjønn hund og lyse, er den penula djegus fikke der vi gjør det fove. Kjegger han fær glest og snaste, og han bannestjør fri nære og gara kommer hremlig er det bråga. The idea of the helicopter escape was first made in Long Hess some time back. But it had to be scrapped because beside Long Hess there were British Army uh, gunboats as they, or whatever they would call them. And these would have been faster and speedier than any commercial helicopter we would have got to go into Long Hess. So the, uh, the idea was abandoned because we had no doubts the British Army would have shot the helicopter down. So it lay dormant for a little while and then with this crackdown from the Irish government at that time, the idea was again raised on the outside. I'm not gonna lie, this is captivating. This is interesting. Talk to me, continue. There would be three escaping. There would be a couple to make sure they, they would get on it. Then you had to take out the prison officers around the, the square of the yard, and they would be positioned in A, B, C, and D, and there'd be steps down from the wing where there was a gate. So all of those... I have a serious question. Is there any movies about the IRA? Like, I meant like, a, like a big films with big actors, because I, the, I'm not glorifying it or anything, but like... I'd like to see it a, a lot of this story like reenacted on the screen. It could be like several parts. I'm a movie person. And now I'm a documentary person, but I prison officers had to be uh, stopped at the helicopter was to command so new aged movies that could in HD 4K, you know. Most of the guys that we chose were guys who from the wing where there was a gate. So all of those prison officers had to be uh, stopped at the helicopter was to come in. So most of the guys that we chose were guys who with bits of reputation that been hard man. Father of the Uncushed Elia, a Kurigut clad in the agree at Antivushte, four Leonard and helicopter at Keys, Agus Holinshe Agund Elisha, guard the Rodwell. Helicopter. When he landed, apparently when you're flying a helicopter, you have to wait for levels to drop, oil levels or something, and before you can switch it off. So my father was sitting watching the gauges, and the next thing he saw this boy leaning in with a gun. A football game was, was organised and I suppose they thought it would only go on for a particular time but because the helicopter 
was so long in coming. Uh, they had to keep the, the football game going and some of the, the prisoners sort of wanted to go in, but no, the other ones kept it going. <laughs> About a dozen people, I think, were targeted and said, look, this is going down, keep it very tight to yourself, and don't discuss it with anybody. And once they were going to deliver a helicopter into the yard, we were going to make damn sure we're going to... This yard is fairly big enough. They can do it. Work. Well, having the, the, the provost there, no, but echt fascinische cordno. Hold on, he's saying a lot of big words in a different language. Okay, for the provost, it was... Intelligenic intelligence. Where's the E? In organization, uh, organizational. Okay. I'm not an L reader. I can read. It's just missing some stuff. The provost there, no, but echt fascinische cordno. I was technologically, I was still in our situation. Fagger let us <laughs> not shine, no, and Fagger to deliver into money, as much in there. But the interesting fashion in our slow start, she's in Shin Shannarod, Gord Moralta, Lotel Hepriesud, who will learn Calico Car, Guido Guinecatele, but I shall test that in my edition. This look like a scene from a movie right here. Nis tushke antrunule kema khwachur ogloch te vrigod vlokia mach la karo wed kom helhori efekosuas. Ni moran tahi vi yaku wed na bosha agas ni rashid nanam kar vi gatiyaku a hasnu fi. Uh, I said the helicopter driver had to be terrified. When they left Strad Valley, the guy who was with him, he directed him where he wanted to fly. And I think it was only as they got closer, he told him exactly where he was going to Mount Joy Jail and pick up a few passengers. We couldn't keep people out without arousing suspicion. So uh, most of them drifted back in, but they wouldn't have known that the helicopter escape was going to take place, except if you like the privileged few who by a nod and wink stayed where they were and walked around the yard. And I walked around with, uh, with Seamus, JB and Kevin. <laughs> the yard and we could see the helicopter pilot and we could see the guy that was uh, keeping them company and uh, it swung away and I must admit we were in despair we thought something had happened but in fact what he was trying to do was the pilot had come to judge where he was to land and swung away and brought, made his approach and came in as you know and uh, he landed. Insane. My job was to make sure nobody, only these three, uh, got into it because there were there were one or two people in the yard who uh, would have just thought this was a, a general escape and let's let's run for it, you know. This this all lasted a minute, barely more than a minute, but it seemed an eternity. 
at the time, dust swirling everywhere, confusion, mayhem. Feet far away, and chin. I guess near the Jillian and Grand. Rin when the helicopter rolls, a prisoner jumped on the rails underneath. Yeah, that's dumb. Chest near a lemonch. Erna Riley, we said, Bonnie Ingram, Le Hillary Foster. But we are Ergonia, a way in the Porto Bogus Garrelers, because our Alice just, uh, and, and Mr. Ad Emacht led the hole. Kevin jumped in first, and Seamus dived in beside him, and JV was trying to get in behind the, the lad who was, uh, the hijacker, if you'd like to use that word. And I ran and gave uh, JB a, a dunk on uh, the backside, and he had a fairly broad beam there all right, but he got in all right, so I slammed the door shut. As it turned out, one of the screws lifted a breeze block to run and throw it at the helicopter, but uh, of course he was kept back by the number of prisoners, so it was essential to have a good many out in the yard that day. Wait, what did he go get to throw at it? They just said to them, and they had been instructed to do it, to say to them, don't do anything, don't move forward, stay in your place, and you won't be harmed. And by the time the guys got these instructions out to them, the thing was practically up and, and away again. And that's what happened. Nobody got hurt, nobody got harmed. One revolver is about 50 men. What, who's going to face a revolver? Because they had no scruples about shooting anyone at that stage. And then the pilot uh, started, he came off the ground so slowly, inches at a time, but uh, and then he started to rock at them like this. But what I now know what he was doing was the turbulence coming off the, the high walls and the prison wall was obviously causing him great difficulty. But he, he rocked and rocked like that there, and then all of a sudden psh, he was gone. And we were left. I picked the right, I picked the right helicopter driver, bro, knew what he was doing. The ground, uh, cheering like mad. Oh, he went, a uh, prison officer ran to go get a brick. Okay. This is crazy. Come down. The alarm was going off and we could hear distinctly that this senior prison officer running around screaming, shut the gates, shut the gates, shut the gates. And I think somebody had to tap him on the shoulder and said, You can shut the gates all you want. They flew up out of that mud. Listen, boss, no point in shutting the gates. They've gone that way. <laughs> That's sort of fairy tale. <laughs> I should have so many things said that time, you know. And um, there was another one said, they'll have to cut off the, if it doesn't rise, they'll have to cut off the, Chop wings off the chopper to get it out the gates, you know, there was all sorts <laughs> There is another story told that one of the prison officers saluted because he thought it was the Minister of Justice arrived on an inspection. Uh, he learned later. That's stupid. Who hired him? Fired that prison officer. You would know. And he wouldn't arrive in the middle of the yard. Oh, one choy, I guess, or cursed, uh, blocking a tractor or foot in a car. He'll, he'll make a shiny and take like what she's saying, take a shiny and take a shiny and stop it. Me the head pillow hogway on car a husno near a nice L a taxi hall. I guess the chaman to draw on Ross Forsa, ye did the knuckle gun a cold forty five in Chamani, Kangley way. I guess quite you on taxi, home a hell of a hurry at the Kosuas. I was taking a dose and my son Phelan came running up in the afternoon and wakened me and I said to him, oh Phelan, what did you wake me for? I was sleeping. And he says, mommy, mommy, there's been an escape out of Mount Joy. So at that stage there were no names given, but at the five o'clock news, the names were given out of Seamus Toomey, Kevin Mallon and Joe B. O'Hagan. So of course the flu was forgotten and I jumped out of bed and Phelan and I danced around the room. Prison officers, I always remember they were great. They, we could see them, they were laughing their heads off. This was, this was magnificent. I mean, this was going to be like the GPO. Were you there? Yes, I was there. Prison officers thought it was great crack altogether. I thought they might have, might have shot me. Because a, th a threat had been made to you at Strad Valley. Yeah, that's, yeah. Which was? Well, I was told if you follow the operation up, you'll be shot. 
on the way back he was debating whether or not he should crash the, the aircraft or not or how he was going to get away from them. One of the passengers who got on in Mount Joy Jail was a young fellow he'd recognised from years ago called O'Hagan, I think it was, from Lurgan. And he and his father had collected old hens that had finished laying from the farms and sold them on. But uh, his, his face certainly stood out in my father's mind. He often talked about just the excitement of travelling over Dublin and seeing how small the people in the cars were below me. You know, that was uppermost too, you know, because it was such an unusual thing to be in the helicopter. The Agla Cracknar Maher, Riv Naharjishan, Riv Rudabia Viroard, near a jail is in Lashin. For heights, he got out of there though, he'd be as scared as he wants for that moment. On his way there, he'd been wondering, you know, how this was going to end. Were they going to just shoot him or, you know, what was going to happen? But as it turned out, one of them turned around and made a remark, something like, oh, we'll, we'll fix you, we'll see you right for that. So, you know, I think I'm sure he breathed a big sigh of relief at that stage. I wonder if they took the helicopter's communication system out when they got out. Like ripped it out so he couldn't. And even though then a car came along and took them to their first house and I think they went to maybe two to three houses before nightfall before they settled down then. I don't know if it was PR on to the provost. I guess we wish no way on Jacker than Realtis have you on. So she said, there you go, Count Fayer and Realtis are for Tom and Eddie Eushin. I can pass them a good major course, Bragshay, and Realtis, I guess, the Gordy, I guess, the Forsy Slanda, and Slach the Corner are a good different. Obviously. This is the inner workings of a helicopter, huh? I don't know what they getting fingerprints for. You know exactly who these men are. Like, y'all did a head count in jail. Y'all seen who was missing. Y'all can go get their fingerprints from downstairs or something. The trouble with the IRA was you'll block one hole, but they have another one in mind. I mean, they, they're genius at escape. We had another escape uh, going along side by side uh, at that time. We were intending to come out through the roof and uh, we were getting the ropes in and go down and take the slates off the roof. We'd find our weakness in the system, uh, which I'll not tell you about because you, who knows? <laughs> you know, uh, another day you might find yourself under that roof. And it was to take place, but suddenly they came into us one morning about six o'clock in the morning, gave us all black bags and said, pack your belongings, you're going. And within a few hours, we went in this convoy of buses the whole way down to Port Leash. The first thing on the agenda was electing the escape committee. Port Leash was more isolated. The bog, as its nickname was, and well named. And there was only so many ways you could come to it and it could be seen, whereas my joy, People are lived, their back doors were up to it, you know. The following year, I think it was. Looks like medieval times. I know y'all don't, do y'all got that out there? Medieval times? He was filming a derby horse at Vincent O'Brien's at Ballydoyle. And uh, he crashed in a helicopter there with a film crew on. And um, while he was in hospital, he got a, a threatening letter saying that if he appeared in court to give evidence against this group that something was going to happen to him. So while he was there, he was watched, he was guarded, and then we were escorted when we came back up to the north after about a week. Okay, and then did he In every organisation, from local organisation to political, there, there are bandwagon jumpers. But uh, I suppose it must be said about uh, the, the three that escaped in the helicopter. 
you'll, I suppose you'll have to admit they were genuine Republicans. And they're here, um, Gaugan, Medina, a daily creation of Stonem, uh, uh, Nihin and Point of Vion, Agus, Marishes, a style severe, is good of and Toron, and some five little windish. So, you know. love the publicity. Need all of them, girl, Larry Shake or out, girl, Agriot, New Coast, Vilch, and Avilita, and the public tonic. After Larry Shake, you go out there, Gosta, and then Obrot and Tyson, or the Kayla, Derek. Nah, they let them pull off two helicopter escapes. That's insane. Y'all let them hit y'all with a double double or back to back? No. I just look back on it as, as something that was good for us, it was bad for the government. Well, they put a built a roof over that. We as morale in a big way. It's uh, of no great importance in terms of its whole place in history. It's it's just a bit of theater and a bit of drama. Go back. Wait, there's stuff that they say. It's, it's just a bit of theater and a bit of drama. T. Woomy was recaptured in 1977 and was sent to Port Louis until 1977. J.B. O'Hagan was caught after 15 months and spent two years in Port Laos. He was out for 15 months though. Kevin Malone was recaptured after six. Dang, Kev. He wasn't out no time. Oh, he escaped again? Oh, they ain't even recapture him. He just living and dust. Peak negativity. That's tough. TLO, leave a like, comment. I'm gone.